In this video, we'll capture Bluetooth low energy advertisements from this Bluetooth USB controller interacting with this phone. And our capture hardware is Teledyne LaCroix's Frontline X500. Before capturing, let's look at advertisements in a little bit of detail. Advertising allows devices to share data quickly with low overhead. It accomplishes this by not requiring devices to first establish a connection before transferring the data and then tear down the connection when the data transfers over. Instead, what happens is one device, we'll call it a peripheral, starts just sending data. And another device, called a central, just listens and receives that data. But the central for certain peripherals can request additional data and get more data than what the peripheral can send in a single advertising packet. Now what can this data be? Well, the data can be information about like heartbeat sensors, um, temperature sensors, practically any type of information you can imagine. Often, though, what the data that's being advertised is are the services, those sensing capabilities that the peripheral has and what it has, what data it has to offer. And those services have their own number, which is a universally unique identifier. So every service has an ID that is unique and can be identified by the central to then decide whether it wants to request more data about that. So these peripherals can send data about what they have to offer for services. Um, they can also send information about themselves, such as their name, and then that data from the sensors, such as the heartbeat rate or the temperature. Now, for our capture, we are going to want to build one of these peripherals to, to use. And we'll, we'll do this by just using a virtual machine and we'll choose uh, Linux as the environment. And we'll use that USB controller and connect to that virtual machine over USB. Now to set up the uh, peripherals, what it will advertise, we're going to use a standard program in Linux called Bluetooth CTL for Bluetooth control. And in it, we can set up what service numbers it can offer. So it will advertise out and we can give the peripheral a name and then turn on the advertising. And what will happen is that program will then talk to the Linux kernel, this Bluetooth driver known as BlueZ, and it will tell it what it wants to advertise. And BlueZ will take these commands and convert them to commands that the controller can understand using a layer called HCI. And it will send that information over USB to the Bluetooth controller. And then the Bluetooth controller will start advertising over the air to the central, which is our phone. If we look at this setup in a little more detail, when it gets, when those commands we programmed in Bluetooth CTL get down to the kernel layer with the blue Z, blue Z will send the uh, command when we send the service information, it'll send a command to start the advertising data, to set the, set the advertising data, and that will go to the Bluetooth controller over USB. The Bluetooth controller will respond that it'll do that. And then the, we can set the name. So when we set the name, the uh, kernel will then send that command to do it, and the Bluetooth controller will acknowledge it, and then we can tell the Bluetooth controller to start advertising. Only after that will the Bluetooth controller start advertising those services over the air and when the device, the central, requests more data, then the Bluetooth controller will send, which it um, requests in the form of scan data, and then the Bluetooth controller will send that scan data, which would be the device's name. To be able to capture this information, we'll use our uh, 
X500, and the X500 can not only capture the over-the-air data, but it can also capture the USB data through the connections that we will um, set up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to intercept these USB commands by plugging the Bluetooth controller into the X500 and then plugging the X500 into our Linux uh, host. And so what will happen is when Blue Z sends the commands, they will travel through the X500 and be captured and then go to the Bluetooth controller. So this will allow us to capture not only this USB traffic, but then also the over-the-air traffic. Now we're ready to connect the capture hardware. For the sake of this demonstration, all connections that would go to the computer, I'm going to plug into this USB hub, which I'll then plug into the computer. So to start with, we take our X500, and on the back side, we set up the connection so the X500 can talk to the computer. We look for the USB-C connector port labeled host, plug in the USB-C cable, and then the other end of the cable, we plug into our computer, which will be this hub for the demonstration. Next, because we're intercepting the Bluetooth controller's USB commands, we have to plug it in to the X500. So what we first do is we plug a connection to the computer, so we'll plug a uh, connector that would ordinarily go to our USB controller to the computer, and then instead of connecting it to a controller, we plug it into the back of the X500, and I'm going to choose the port labeled HCI USB 1. So I plug it in there. And next, for the cable, the connection that's going to go to the controller, I could either plug it into the X500 directly, or because I want an extender, I'll take an extender cable and connect that to the back of the port, and then connect my Bluetooth controller to the extender cable. All the USB cables are connected, we just have to now connect power. So we take our power cable, connect it into the back, the light should turn on the front, and we just need to press the power button and we'll be ready to collect. To start our capture, we load the wireless protocol suite by going to the Teledyne folder, Teledyne LaCroix folder, and I'm selecting my latest version, and then I choose the X500, and it will load. Once it's loaded, we're going to go to the capture options, and then from there we'll select the uh, options for both the over-the-air and the uh, USB. So we go to record options, and just interested in low energy, and then go to wired, select port 1, which we had plugged the uh, USB controller into, and then also pod 1, and we just left these as default settings. Also, go over to the wired devices, make sure this is checked for USB 1. And now we're ready to record. So we're going to start recording before we're transmitting with the controller so that we can capture the USB traffic. So we select Start Record. And then in the Linux um, virtual environment, pull up our script for the uh, Bluetooth controller, which is a blue uh, CTL. So we load that. It selected the controller with the address. We're going to go to the advertise menu and then 
um, we're going to program the advertise to send out these particular service UUIDs. So I'll just paste those in there. And then we'll choose a name to transmit on the scan response. So choose name here. If you have spaces, you want to make sure that you use a quote. And then we're going to go back. We're going to turn the advertise on. And then we'll also turn on discoverable so that you can see that. Okay, so we go back to the um, wireless protocol suite and we can analyze the data as we're collecting. I'm gonna go over to LE and then we'll select the device with the Bluetooth controller and then use the phone to scan it. And once we've done that, we can then stop the advertisements. So we'll go back and stop the advertisements. We'll just go advertise off. And then we can stop our recording. So we'll stop recording and stop analyzing. Now, so it's already found the uh, Bluetooth controller device, so we'll select that, and then we'll also choose um, unselect any uh, previously captured devices, and then I will uh, analyze this, so we'll uh, start the um, analysis, and We'll first look at the USB. So if we go to the USB, we can see the messages that it's sent. So that we, if we go here, we can see where there was the, so we'll go right up here and select the um, setting of the advertising data. So we can go to decode and we'll select here raw data. And then we'll select the expand the HCI command so we can see the data that was actually sent here. And we can see these are the UUIDs that we had told it that we wanted to transmit. And if we go to the setting of the response data for the command, we can see that this is the name that we selected. And so this is what's happening through over the USB. So the uh, host had set that up. And when we turned off advertising, we can see here that we sent the advertising command and then we told it to disable the advertising. When we look at the actual LE data, if we go to our advertising data, so if we select the advertising data and we scroll around, we can see that there were uh, scan responses when it was talking with the um, with our uh, phone, and it was also could have also been talking to other Bluetooth devices. So. If we take a look here with the, we can see that here we're advertising our UUIDs that we had set up over the air. And then there's a scan response and then we respond with the um, name of our device. This concludes our capture of Bluetooth low energy advertising data.